how to fast correctly. How can you come to Ramadan and not understand how to fast correctly? The main pillar in Ramadan is to fast. Therefore, it only makes sense that you learn how to fast correctly. You know, the purpose of fasting. What's the purpose of fasting? By in fasting, you avoid food and drink and sexual relations. But the purpose is to nurture a taqwa within us. That's the purpose of fasting. As Allah Azza wa says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may attain a taqwa. Fasting is supposed to nurture a taqwa. What is a taqwa? Basic, very simple. A taqwa is for you to keep away from sins, decrease your sins, and increase your hasanat. A taqwa. A taqwa is to do what Allah commanded and to keep away from that which Allah prohibited. This is a taqwa. And so this is what fasting is for. That's the purpose of fasting. It increases your hasanat and it keeps you away from the haram. Because the fasting person is more conscious and aware. He doesn't do what's haram. He avoids the halal. When you're fasting and I put you in a room alone, no one is there and there's an apple in front of you. You won't eat it. Even though an apple is, is halal in Islam, you won't eat it. Why? It's an apple. It's halal. Why wouldn't you eat it? Because you know Allah is watching. MashaAllah. That's the kind of attitude you're supposed to have with everything else during your life. You did not eat it because you knew Allah is watching. طيب, so now, when it comes to haram matters, isn't Allah watching as well? طيب, after Ramadan, isn't Allah watching as well? Huh? Then Ramadan and fasting develops this taqwa, it nurtures it. And you're doing this for 30 days. So you're being nurtured and nourished with this taqwa. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he said, fasting is two parts. Hatta Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, fasting is two things. That's what you need to learn. That's how you fast correctly. Two things. Listen, Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he said, there is the fasting of the stomach from food and drink, and there is fasting of the limbs from sin and transgression. Well, Salaf rahimahullah used to say that fasting the easiest type of fasting is to refrain from food, drink, and sexual relation. Hadha, the easy fasting. And he said, the real fasting is to abstain from all forms of sin and transgression. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned this to us, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in addition to teaching us that we are to keep away from food, drink, and sexual relations, he also said there are three things you're supposed to keep away from. And you know that? When you keep away from these three things, and these three physical things, you have now fasted correctly. In a hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, مَن لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ وَالْجَهَلِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَدْعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, whoever doesn't give up, alongside food, drink, and sexual relations, three more other things they are, قَوْلَ الزُّورِ False speech, even swearing and telling lies, and backbiting, and gossip, and all foul language that comes from the mouth. Add this to food, drink, and sexual relations. Add it. That's one thing. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, whoever doesn't leave these things. So you need to fast from these things. Qawl az-zur. Az-zur is a comprehensive term that refers to anything that is falsehood. Wal-amala bih. And evil deeds. Evil deeds. Yani the evil deeds. So that means the fasting of the eye. That's a deed. When you look at something haram, that must fa the eyes must fast with you. The hand, when it does something haram, it should fast with you as well. And your hands and your feet and everything. Give it all up. A taqwa is supposed to be flowing in your entire body and your veins. Everything is supposed to keep away from al haram. That's the second thing. Hada is fasting. Limbs supposed to fast. Wal jahal. You also are supposed to refrain from jahl. What's jahl? Jahl is two things. Number one, jahl is ignorance. What is ignorance? Ignorance is when you know something and you do not implement it. And when I know a salat is obligatory and I don't pray, that's ignorance. That you knew there's salat and you didn't pray. When I know the fire burns and I put my hand in there, I'm ignorant. You had knowledge. Why didn't you act upon your knowledge? And then there's a problem there. And that's jahl. So you need to keep away from jahl. And the other meaning to jahl is the foolish, arrogant character and behavior. The, the bad attitude, the bad character, that's jahl as well. So if someone wants to argue with you during Ramadan or swear at you and insult you, don't raise your voice. Don't fight with anyone. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لا يصخب. 
Don't fight with anyone. Don't raise your voice at anyone. That's wala yaskhab. Rather, the Nabi Sallallahu told us what to do. If someone is going to insult and angry and raise his voice at you and so on, say to them, inni sa'im, inni sa'im, two times, and walk away. I'm fasting. Yani, what does it mean? In context, it means, I'm fasting. And I cannot raise my voice on you and swear back at you and insult you because that's another type of fasting I'm supposed to do alongside food, drink, and sexual relations. فَإِنْ يُصَائِمْ إِنْ يُصَائِمْ And keep your fasting protected. Purify your fasting. Keep it intact and move away. Now, if a person does this, now he has fasted correctly. Don't forget this meaning. This is just as important as leaving food, drink, and, 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 and sexual relations. Remember, at the end of the day, the purpose of Ramadan is not to starve you and to deprive you from sexual relations. The purpose of Ramadan was to nurture taqwa. What taqwa is what will protect this and protect your limbs from al-haram and protect you from ignorance and bad character. That's what taqwa would do. And that's the purpose. As, as for yani, speaking in terms of from a fiqh perspective, if a person was to refrain from food, drink, and sexual relations, and then yes, he backbit someone, he slandered someone, he did a bad deed with his eyes, hmm? and he yani, swore at others. From a fiqhi perspective, his fasting is still correct, and he doesn't have to make up that day. But he lost a lot of reward. Fasting, if it's not correct, the more you destroy your fasting, the less reward you earn. It's like a salat. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that a person finishes his salat, وَمَا كُتِبَ لَهُ إِلَّا عُشْرُهَا تُسْعُهَا ثُمْنُهَا سُبْعُهَا سُدْسُهَا خُمْسُهَا رُبْعُهَا ثُلْثُهَا نِصْفُهَا Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa says that a person might pray and he will leave. He will end his salat having earned a tenth of the reward. Look, there, there was an opportunity to earn one whole reward, a big reward, but some people earn a tenth. Some a ninth, hmm. some an eighth, some a seventh, some sixth, some they earn a fifth, some they earn a quarter, huh? some earn a third, huh? or some earn a half, and some earn complete reward. Allahu alam. Fasting is like this the more perfect your fasting, the more reward there is. Allah, you didn't control your tongue, your limbs weren't controlling. And it's going to re reduce, reduce, reduce. Nah, until you fasted a whole day and you earned at the end of it maybe a tenth. Why would you yani, waste this opportunity upon yourself? When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said this fact, Perhaps that a fasting person doesn't earn anything from his fasting except hunger. What does that mean? Yani, he doesn't earn any reward. The only thing he earned was that he went a day starved himself. That's it. And perhaps it could be that a person prays the whole night and doesn't earn anything. No reward, none, nothing. Only tiredness. He went, oh, he better for him to sleep. So you need to understand, alongside your worship, your character must develop as well. Character. And first and foremost, your character with Allah. He says something is haram, keep away from it. And then behave with the people. That's how you keep your fasting pure and intact. Now, uh, and you know, subhanAllah, people are always just focused on the physical things. Keep away from food, drink, sexual relations. Khalas. And he thinks he's good, he's alright. And we know this from the question of the people. Uh, if I hack a, a spray in my nose, does it break my fast? If accidentally a drop of water, do I break my fast? Now, if accidentally I did this, what about if I swam? See, the questions are all about the physical part. No one ever asks, if I was to swear, does it break my fast? No one seeks that kind of knowledge. Even the ideas, people are ignorant. That this is supposed to, is the purpose of this. Fasting is nurturing this. A taqwa, to protect this, to save it. Yeah. And the limbs and uh, the ignorance, as we said. 